switch the kick? Like, what do we mean Twitch is in huge trouble? What do he mean by that? Like, how is Twitch in huge trouble? What happened? I don't know. When was the last time you heard something about Twitch that wasn't overwhelmingly negative? Uh, I can't even remember. It's been so long. Shit. Trying to remember a time where the Twitch higher-ups seemed in touch with the community is like trying to remember a dream. Damn. Like, it's just extremely hard. How long it's been since... TikTok stream now? That Are we doing TikTok streams? Is that the like, meta? For years Chat, is that now, comp, it's been yeah. rolling out features that nobody TikTok in the streams? world has ever asked for and that contribute nothing to the platform. Anyone remember just a couple months back when they had their version of Super Chats? Where they would take a paid message oh, and then yeah. put it under... Oh, yeah. Chat, what happened to this? What happened to this? Beneath the stream where nobody in the world could see it. So you were actually just throwing money into the void, just flushing it down your toilet, basically. God rest That pay a lot. Like, I know my chat. friend made I'm 1K sure. a stream. Nigga, $1,000 off a TikTok stream? Hey, chat, I ain't gonna lie. We moved to TikTok. Don't say shit, nigga. All just go with it, bro. Whoever used that feature just go with it, dog. Don't say shit. Just, just the watch the stream, my nigga. Incredible monetization tool. Like, they, it is so misguided. A another feature that they've rolled okay. out that I'm sure none of you even knew existed is something called Reacts, where you What's as that? a viewer while watching a stream can react to it, and all it does is you can send an emote at that very second you click React okay. to let the streamer know what you thought of that moment that second so that way when the streamer goes good, to the dashboard, they can click on the reacts and see like oh at wait everybody okay my hold stream, on what the fuck i never hey chat can y'all react to right right now can y'all react is that a function on y'all stick i just did it how the fuck can i see i don't see it on my screen where is the functions my nigga where is the functions hold on. i'm gonna go look how do i see that where is it at <clears throat> hold on i'm gonna go look for it you can see it after Oh, we gotta do it after. I bet everybody send y'all best reactions right now. Let's see. I'm gonna look at it after. I don't know what the fuck with this I thing. Anyway, three pogs. That must have been a really good moment. Like it, it's fucking worthless yeah. features. It is nothing but horrible decisions from this yeah. company. They're making more. Chat, you know what Twitch really need? They need like a. They need like a Omegle on Twitch. Is that a thing? They need an Omegle on Twitch so we can like. Pair with other streamers. They need that, bro. Bad choices than a college student who just took his first shot of fireball. But unlike the college student, Twitch isn't drunk. They're just stupid. I'm getting heated. Of course, not Damn. everyone at Twitch is this No, I don't have like, that. was good, Kevin, you dumbass. Mode with these ideas. I'm just playing. What's good, people brother? At Twitch that understand the platform, but they don't have the same power that the higher-ups do that are mm. rolling out these awful decisions. Oh, shit. Uh, why am I talking about this? Well, it's because they've just revealed two new awful decisions over the last 24 hours. Damn, what now, is one it? one of them, admittedly, is not their fault. This comes with the layoffs. Okay. Uh, I will show you some clips from last night's stream where I really dive in deep on those. Yes, I know J.Dot Breezy. I'm in Jacksonville. But the other one that not a lot of people realized yet is they also made a statement on their sub-revenue split. After a strain of creator curve controversy, Twitch is pretty sure is made... Right change. We're a new tool like guest star improvements to existing monetization programs. Twitch believes is the best place for creators right now. You might huh? remember I also mentioned it recently in another video. Last I ain't year, see a new song. The year, I don't get it fucking beef like that. It would like be that. getting really rid care. of the 70-30 sub-revenue deal that they had with streamers. So now it would be 50-50 across the board. 70-30 would no longer exist, which means Twitch now offers the lowest amount of revenue to streamers in the entire industry. They're now at the bottom of the food chain when it comes to sub-splits across the board of every streaming platform. Well, get paid less? Yo! What? Why didn't no one inform me about this? I have not got no emails. No! Hey, bro, I need everybody to sub up right now. Nigga, I need to feed my goddamn dogs, bro. No. Bro. And what? by a wide margin. YouTube is 70-30. I mean, even Kick is like 90-10, I think, or even 95-5. I don't remember. But Angle, they I'm have to move the lowest kick. split of subs. And it's not even close. And they really don't have any tools in place to try and make up for that. So instead, they double down on ads, which is worse for everyone. Streamers don't like running ads. Viewers don't Ooh. like watching ads. Thus... You're immediately... Yo, y'all finna get hit with eight ass, bro. Killing no. the two people that make streaming work, streamers and viewers. You are rolling out things that neither side want. 
their galaxy brain solution to the taking 20% away from the streamers is to force them to run more ads if they want to make up for that lost revenue. Yo, we gotta run more ads! And streamers don't want to do that because that drives away their viewers. Yes! I don't like running ads, I mean, bro. Chat ain't that right. No one get ads in my chat, bro. Come on, bro. No one viewers. be getting ads, just bro. how it works because no one wants to sit through fucking 10 unskippable ads. So they'll exactly. go somewhere else. Maybe they come back. Maybe they don't. And this is extremely detrimental because of pre-roll ads that play when you click on a, a stream for the first yeah, time. Yeah, pre-roll. I can't control nail it. on the coffin for a lot of smaller streamers where... Even if they're doing really cool content, a lot of people never find it because when they click on that stream and they get fucking yeah. two back-to-back 30-second -back ads, yeah. they just instantly leave and they'll never go back. So clearly it was a very... Wait, do that be happening? When people click on my stream, do they get like an ad instantly and then they just click off? Do that be happening? Wait, is that... A, can I turn it off? Wait, what the fuck? Do that be happening? Oh, I did not... Is that... Is that... Is that... A controversial Wait, what? decision, one that a lot of people yes? took issue with. What? And now Twitch is How saying I turn that... Off? We heard everything everyone was saying. It was a very loud conversation. No! And we laughed at all of you. And we're spitting in your face. We made the right decision, nerds. It's gonna be 50-50 forever. So they're patting each other on the back, slapping their ass, saying, Good game out there, team. They are taking their victory lap, letting us all know that 50-50 is here to stay forever. Six. And then try and elaborate on why it's a good thing and how they're going to change their monetization model in order to make Twitch the number one place to stream when it comes to revenue for streamers. And in the interview, they said, We talk a lot about how we're in this together, and part of that is innovation. Wait, okay, can someone go on our alt account real quick and see if you click on my stream, you get an ad? I just want to, I just want to test something out. We are committed to continuing to improve our monetization products and building new monetization happens. products. And at the end of the day, we're committed to increasing the amount of money a streamer earns. Wow, such noble intentions with absolutely no way of delivering. One of the things Twitch is really going buck wild with is their ad incentive program. And here's what they had to say about that. Surprisingly, they did recognize that the intrusiveness of ads on Twitch is a big issue, one that they're trying to work on. So they said the acceptance and engagement on the, the ad incentive program Valorant? far exceeded our expectations, so streamers are clearly seeing the value in running ads now. I like how they're saying that like a mark of pride. Streamers aren't happy about that, by the way. It's just that's their only option. In fact, if you go on Twitter and spend even just a couple of seconds typing in the Twitch ad incentive program, you'll see a lot of people outraged at it because a lot of the asks are Boys. huge for the ad incentive program, up to like oh. fucking seven minutes worth of ads. I've seen them. Like, for example, Caleb, just Joel, streams often. He's shown me his ad incentive program. Rex Gunderson, he's shown me his. Like, the asks are not small. And the pay they're offering isn't huge for smaller streamers. Even in the rare instance where a oh, couple shit. of larger streamers posted their ad incentives where it was a lot of money for like fucking six or seven minutes of ads per hour, they still, most of them chose not to do it because of how intrusive all of the ads were to the viewers. It just makes the experience of watching their stream awful. Yeah. Having to be inundated with fucking seven minutes of ads per hour is a lot when yeah, it comes facts. to streaming. So a lot of them still just didn't choose to do it. The only reason that there is any level of acceptance with the ad incentive program is because you have forced people to swallow this shit. Since there's now no longer a 70-30 deal or anything like that, the amount of sub revenue you can generate is significantly less. In fact, Damn. you probably make more money buying and reselling eggs right now than you would trying to rely on sub money on Twitch. Damn! We gotta move to kick! Now going forward, Minton no. acknowledged the state of ads on the platform isn't perfect yet, and the company has taken steps to reduce their intrusiveness through static, in-player ads, and disabling pre-roll ads if creators display at least three minutes of ads per hour. We're really, really thinking about ad placement generally and ensuring that, as a viewer, when you're looking for a new community, that we're reducing the impact of ads. So they do recognize how it's very bad for small streamers when yeah. pre-rolls are playing. And right now there's there pre-rolls to play this more able, ads right? during your stream and we'll get rid of pre-rolls. Like, it, it's literally Ouroboros, just constantly fucking feeding on ads and eating its own tail. Everything is all about ads, and it's still intrusive. Like, it, it is still there. Like, pre-rolls will exist unless you are running ads throughout your stream. Yeah. So, I still also don't understand why skippable ads aren't on the platform when those are pretty commonplace. Uh, like, I feel like skippable ads would at least... Yeah, well, I don't got skippable ads. Right ...there and make the ad breaks a little more palatable. But still, another thing that they mention is, like, all of their innovative tools they're working on to help creators monetize their content... They don't really shine a bright light on what all of those new innovations are looking like. 
though I do imagine one of them they're talking about, because they do briefly mention, like, sponsorship opportunities through streaming on Twitch. Okay. And I think what they're talking about there is, like, something similar to the Bounty Board. Bounty Board is something that's existed on Twitch for quite a few years now. Basically, what the fuck is uh, the Bounty companies board? will pay Twitch to have streamers of X amount of viewers stream their product for however many hours, mm. and Twitch will give a portion of that money that the brand has paid to the streamer. I mean, in, in theory, like, the concept is actually pretty solid, right? Okay. If Twitch is going to facilitate brand deals like that and just put it right on your dashboard, that's a pretty decent idea. Yeah. But most people have woken up to the fact that the deal is shit. Twitch is taking the lion's share of that brand deal, and the streamer is getting very, very little co comparatively to oh what they would get if they just chased bro. down the same deal themselves. Or with, uh, like, an agency or what something. What are we going to do, chat? Like, if you're going to do a stream deal through Twitch, you're better off just clicking on the bounty board to see who's looking for streamers and then reach out to the company yourself or have your manager or whatever agency you're with reach out to them for you and let them know you're interested because you'll get a much better rate that way. Because mm. Twitch has taken almost all of it. Like, I don't know many people that still use the bounty board because most people have realized this now. It is paying significantly less than had you just gotten the deal through any other means. So oh, it's a shit. decent idea in theory if Twitch wasn't taking so, 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 so much of the brand deal. So I've been ranting about this for a while, but you can see there's a lot of problems that plague Twitch when it comes to streaming on there and trying to make a living off of it. Which is why so many streamers are choosing to stream elsewhere. YouTube or mm. Kick really are the two main competitors at the moment that people are switching to or starting with. And it's because you have a much better chance of making a living on those two platforms at the moment. Discoverability on Twitch used to be one of its strongest benefits, but currently Twitch doesn't really have an edge in that category anymore either, mainly oh because of my. what I mentioned earlier, pre-rolls. If you're towards the bottom and someone's willing to take a chance on your content, they click on it and they get a pre-roll, they left. They're, oh, they're, they're most likely not going to stick around for that. Whereas if you started on YouTube or Kick, you just fire up your stream and your content's immediately accessible to anyone who might find it. So, oh. yeah. They, like, you just stand a better Chad, chance. I think the thing being... is, we gotta turn off ads. Like, I think that's what we gotta do. We have to turn off ads for my streams, bro. But would that affect... Like, would that affect us? Like, would that affect... Would that help us or no? If I turn off ads, would that even help us? We found elsewhere outside of Twitch at the moment, I would argue at least. So, there's just... There's a lot of problems plaguing Twitch right now. They've made it very clear that they're not exactly turning the profit they'd like to be turning, and the decisions they're making to try and be more profitable are only hurting their platform even further. Oh my. So, let's talk about the layoffs now. Bro. Twitch laid off 400 employees yesterday. 400?! And what's crazy is the employees don't even know who got laid off yet. So the employees are still fucking trembling in fear, wondering if they even have a job anymore. But this isn't a Twitch exclusive problem. I'm sure all of you know, all of the big tech businesses, the tech industry as a mm -hmm. whole, experienced a lot of bloat over the last few years because of COVID. They hired a lot of people. Mm, okay. Now they're firing a lot of those people because they don't need that many employees and they're not utilizing oh, that many employees. Thus, they're making a lot of cuts. Amazon laid off like 9,000 people yesterday. So, of course, the 400 laid off at Twitch. Were Damn! Yeah, we can talk about the Twitch stuff now. I see a lot of people... Coming after Not Twitch a thousand? The layoff, they laid off 400 staff God, members. bro, chat. Uh, I, Damn, bro. Yeah, I think I think that's... We got, yeah, you click on the Dante stream and got an ad. Yeah, I think we got to turn off ads, bro. I think, I think that's what we got to do, right? We got to turn off ads. <laughs> that Dan Clancy, the new CEO of Twitch, is the one to make this announcement as opposed to, like, a parting gift from Emmett Shear, the previous CEO. That was kind of surprising. Because this is not really how you want to start your reign as the Twitch CEO with 400 jobs yeah, taken away. Yeah. But it's also not their fault. Amazon laid off 9K. So people need to realize that since Twitch is part of Amazon, this is part of the overall Amazon layoffs. I don't think Twitch itself was the one that kind of spearheaded it. Okay. Though I will say I think Twitch is a bloated company. I feel like losing 500 staff members isn't necessarily going to change too much about it. Okay. But I could be wrong. Maybe these are, like, really crucial members. But what's kind of fucked up about it is, apparently, the Twitch staff don't even know who's been fired. Damn! Sounds like huge corporate shit. Yeah, that is kind of wild that the employees themselves don't know if they've been laid off or not yet. I feel like they probably should have 
told them that they're fired before making yeah. the announcement. That's crazy, bro. Imagine you're getting fired and don't even fired. know you're getting fired yet, bro. That's got to be scary, bro. Is that how bro. many Twitch has? Is it 1,200? I don't know why, but I thought it was more. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not a small number by any means. But I do think Twitch was very bloated. I don't think you needed that many employees yeah, to begin yeah. with. Yeah. They're clearly not utilizing them to their full potential. Like, I can count on one hand the amount of features they've rolled out over the last couple years, right? Like, they're, they're clearly not being put to great use over there. Damn, but this bro. wasn't like an expli like this wasn't explicitly a Twitch decision. This is just the entire tech industry. Okay. I, I don't remember where the source was now, but there's a whole article written up about the collapse of the tech industry jobs right now. I believe they cited that because of COVID, all of these companies panic hired a ton of people. Mm -hmm. Because they thought they'd need significantly more employees to like run remote and all of that. That makes sense so though, all of chat. These companies really because COVID, the of you probably they had to hire more COVID, people. And now that that's not going on anymore, they just have all of these like this wild list of employees that they don't use, and they don't need anymore. So now they're letting them all go all at once. So it's just this huge exodus. Yeah, chat. <clears throat>